In this video, I'll show you how to create advanced room cards in Home Assistant. These are similar to minimalistic. I've showed room cards before, but this card is really handy if you want to have control of devices without navigating to a sub page. You will need to install button card, mushroom card, and card mod from Hacks. Start by creating a new card. The first card I make is a vertical stack card, then I just add a simple mushroom title card. Then I add a grid card, set it to two columns, and turn off render as squares. I then add custom button card to the grid. Let's create a name. Add an icon and a temperature sensor as the entity. Then I set show state to true. I will use custom fields to create the different buttons. I just set it up now, but we'll add the code for these buttons later on. Let's do some basic styling. I add styling for grid, the custom field, the icon, the state, the name, and card. Then I just reorganize them a bit. Like in my other videos, I use a website called grid.layoutit.com to help me set up the grid. For this card, I add a two x three grid. I then merge the three cells in the right column. Then I give them names, N for name, S for state, I for icon, and BTN for our custom field. Then we can copy the grid template areas code into our home assistant editor. We just need to format this code correctly and we should see some changes in the layout to the right. I put it all on one line and add apostrophes around it. We can then copy the sizing code for columns and rows. Note that I've edited these settings, but I'll get back to this a bit later as well. Then on to the rest of the elements. The card will just get basic padding for now. The custom field should have a justify content set to end. The name should have justify self and align self to start. Then some basic font styling. Much the same for the state. I just copy from the name and change the font size to 14px. I then make it a little bit transparent with opacity. I then just move the icon code to the top so it's easier to see. I want the icon to be placed at the bottom. So I use position absolute on the IMG cell. When using absolute, we need to define a size and a position. So I add left zero and bottom zero to place it at the bottom left. Then I add some negative margin to move it even further to the left outside of the card. I then add a background color and a big border radius. For the icon itself, I just change the size, set the color to black and lower the opacity. So let's create those buttons along the right side. I save the card, then I create a new mushroom chips card. This just makes it easier to generate the code rather than creating the code manually inside the button card. What you create here is based on your use case. To start, I just create an example with a light button. You could, for example, create a light group for all the lights in the living room, and then you could toggle this light group from this button. Copy the code, close the editor, and open the editor for our room card. Then we need to paste the code inside the custom field section of our room card, making sure the indentation is correct. As you can see in the preview, the button gets too much space. So let's change the second 1FR on the grid column to min content. I then want to style the light button a bit as well. Using card mod, we can give it a background, some padding, and a large border radius. I want the background color to change based on the state of the light. We can use Jinja template inside the card mod code to do this. It's a bit tricky, so I'll write the code in a separate window so you can see it better. I'm making a mistake in the code here. It shouldn't be the temperature state, it should be the light from the chip card we use in this code. Then I just copy paste this code to replace the red background color of the chip. In the styling of the custom field, I just need to set align self to start to make sure it's always aligned to the top. Then an important adjustment. On the state, we should add a min height of around 80 PX. This makes sure the icon gets enough space and doesn't overlap the name and temperature. If you have more room cards next to each other, you will most likely have to adjust this number individually to make sure all the cards are the same height. Then I add a few more buttons. Copy paste the previous code. I add one button for vacuuming and one button for the TV. You will have to change the entity to your needs for each button. As you can see, the buttons still get too much space. We can fix this by adding individual padding to the card. The four numbers represent the top, right, bottom, and left padding. I then use a website called colorhunt.co to find some nice colors for the buttons. You can copy the RGB code from the website. I just collect three colors in a separate window. I then edit RGB to RGBA 
and add a fourth value of 1 to the end. I then replace the red and green color for the buttons with these new colors. For the else color, I change 1 to 0.5. This makes the color a bit more transparent when the light is off. The last detail is to find a nice color for the main icon as well. Using the same website, I just find a nice orange color. And that's it. The room card is complete. This is a nice card to use if you want more controls of devices without navigating to a subpage or using a pop-up. You could also add a long press action to the card to open a pop-up if you want to. I've showed how to create pop-ups using bubble card in other videos. Hope you liked the video. As always, the full code can be found on the Gumroad link in the description. Thanks for watching. Until next time.